Southern California Coastal Fire is giving us a preview of what our fire season could look like. And I had a chance to speak with the new director of Cal Fire, Joe Tyler. And in his first television interview, he told me he is hopeful his department can change the course of fighting wildfires, all with the help of some shiny new tools. Some of the biggest and baddest weapons to fight wildfires in the state of California come from an aerial assault of fire retardant and water drops. And the new director of Cal Fire, Chief Joe Tyler, is not shy about showing them off. The kid in you hmm. has to be really excited about these. When the aircraft go in service, they too will be a game changer. A game changer for a state that has seen catastrophic and record fire seasons year after year, including the largest two years ago when the August complex fire burned more than a million acres. And then the deadliest, the campfire in 2018, essentially wiping out the town of Paradise, destroying 18,000 buildings, 85 people lost their lives. And the magnitude of the fire environment and the damage that's been done in these last few years is uh, earth shattering and it really uh, deals a blow on your psyche. Chief Tyler joined Cal Fire 31 years ago as a seasonal firefighter working his way up through the ranks, appointed as the department's director in March by Governor Gavin Newsom. He is credited for updating an aging fleet from Vietnam-era Huey helicopters to 12 of these Black Hawks he calls Firehawks. They are faster and carry 1,000 gallons of water compared to 324 gallons, and the Firehawks can also fly missions at night. How important is it to eventually be able to fly 24-7? I look forward for the opportunity of flying 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, to be able to potentially suppress small initial attack fires at night in an environment where temperatures are cooler. But the new pride of CAL FIRE, seven of these C-130 tankers. So where are we going right now? So right now we're going into uh, the belly of the aircraft that will eventually be converted uh, where the tank system will be placed. So right where we're standing, there will be a 4,000 gallon tank. Those retardant tanks will be installed in Georgia this year, and the planes not set to fly until 2024. Do you hope to have at least one or two online next season? I certainly hope that we might be able to speed the timeline to see if we can get one or more of these aircraft in service sooner than 2024. The sooner, the better, because it's a daunting task for the newest man in charge of keeping the state of California from burning to the ground as climate change and drought conditions have only added to the danger. In the past four out of five years, more than a million acres have burned each season, 